the second of my videos on simple harmonic motion and the basics of it. So in our first video, we developed these two expressions here, x equals a cos omega t, and a is minus omega squared x. This equation defines simple harmonic motion. So there you have your definition of it. Now what I want to do is to look at finding an expression for the velocity of the particle. So if you remember from circular motion, we said that V equals R omega. That should be omega. And in this case, uh, R, if you remember, we said was A. The radius of our circle is A. So we have V equals R omega uh, generally, and in this particular case, V equals A omega. Now, that's the velocity of our particle at any point in its circle. What we're looking for, if you remember, is the velocity along the diameter. So what we want is the vertical component of this velocity. So we're looking at the, uh, the component due to this angle theta in the vertical direction. So we have the vertical component would be a omega sine omega t. It's the sine component. And we know earlier, or from earlier, back up here, that x is a cos omega t. Now, we also know uh, from our maths that sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. So we can now get this x expression into our v expression, which would be quite handy. So if we make uh, cos omega t the subject here, we have from our expression for x, cos omega t is x over a. So From our expression, from our maths, we have sine omega t would be plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cos squared omega t. So sine squared is 1 minus cos squared. Sine then is the square root of that. And being a square root, it could be positive or negative. So We can now go on and say, well, from our expression for cos squared, or sorry, cos up above here, cos is x over a, so cos squared is x squared over a squared. We can then put that in there. And we end up with sine omega t is plus or minus the square root of 1 minus x squared over a squared. So, we can take that a squared out and we can make sine omega t 1 over a times 
the square roots of a squared minus x squared. Basically what I'm doing is multiplying through the a squared here so I get a squared minus x squared. But then to keep this expression correct, I take my a squared out from my uh, square root and put 1 over a out here. So this expression and this expression are mathematically the same. Okay, so on that basis then, V equals A omega sine omega T, and again that should be an omega, my apologies for that. becomes B is plus or minus omega root A squared minus X squared. And this again is an expression that you need for uh, your A level, you have to be able to use that.